Hello everybody, my name is Anke Gigant. I'm the coordinator of the Enterprise Europe Network in Berlin and Brandenburg. I'm very happy that I was invited by Lux Hübner, my colleague at Berlin Partner in the Mobility Unit, uh, to contribute to the today's exchange of the STARS project with a short video. Because we found out that we have one common area of interest, which is the topic of resilience. And Lutz asked me to explain to you some activities that we are carrying out in the Enterprise Europe Network in this area. So, what do we mean when we talk about resilience for SMEs? I engaged myself as co-chair together with my Greek colleague Katarina Tsitsino from the Enterprise Europe Network in Greece, in Thessaloniki, since last summer in a task force on resilience that was initiated by DG Go from the European Commission. And here we see four main areas where SMEs are impacted by disruptions or unforeseen situations that have an enormous influence on their daily business activities. And these four areas are the social and economic situation um, in their business environment, the digitization of their business, including cybersecurity issues, the green transformation um, that we are all going through in these days, and the geopolitical situation. And we see the need that we strengthen the capability of SMEs to continue to operate in the face of these substantial challenges that we experience in our days to maintain the business and uh, the activities of SMEs. We also see the need that we need to strengthen the ability to withstand disruptions and catastrophic events if you think about the floods in Italy and in Greece that we have seen in the last months, uh, it had an enormous impact also on the infrastructure in these regions, namely also the railway infrastructures. And I think here becomes evident that we have a common topic, a common area where we need to engage ourselves to support SMEs. But, uh, Resilience for SMEs for us in the EN also means the ability to sustain income and to develop the spirit of social duty in these times uh, to overcome cultural and social barriers. And to sum up, for an SME, resilient means an holistic approach in their strategic business planning uh, that incorporates social and economic green, digital and geopolitical aspects and all in all resilience for SMEs means to us the ability to survive, to adapt and to thrive despite challenges. After one year of engagement in the task force of resilience in the Enterprise Europe Network, my colleague Katharina, me, and a very dedicated and engaged group uh, of uh, experienced colleagues found out key priorities uh, that we would like to follow up in the next months to come. And it are that we need to become better in foresight for SMEs. Uh, the annual conference of the EN network is ahead of us and um, this topic will be of the, on the agenda of the conference. We need to strengthen the supply chains. We need to continue supply chains and we need to avoid uh, disruptions. Here, the partnering services of the Enterprise Europe Network, namely the supply chain platform that has been um, inaugurated immediately uh, after the outbreak of the uh, Russian aggression against the Ukraine plays a crucial role. Um, but 
uh, supply chain disruptions also occur um, due to the um, uh, consequences of the COVID pandemic situation and due to natural disasters uh, that I already mentioned, the floods, the fires in South Europe and earthquakes um, in our areas that really destroy a lot of in infrastructures that uh, SMEs uh, need to continue their business activities. Another crucial topic is the energy supply for SMEs. Here we are engaged to find solutions to support SMEs uh, to continue their activities. And um, for all these needs, we also need appropriate financial instrument, uh, good ways for SMEs to access to finance, uh, to uh, be supported for situations, for bottleneck situations that they need to overcome. So uh, these were the findings of the Enterprise Europe Network. Um, I do hope uh, that uh, they will give you some food for thoughts. I wish you a very uh, intensive exchange and uh, much support uh, for the results of the STARS project. See you next time.